closing in on W prime 32 even at much lower frequency So I managed to get the W prime 32 top score once and now I'm trying it again as I hang right after the test and I got it again but it's uh, it feels unstable because uh, the uh, real-time thingy hang right when I was getting the score but anyway so that's the new W prime 32 top score with the core core to duo e4600 at 5060 megahertz 15.218 Oh, the other run was 15.2 uh, like spot on. The previous top score is by Tag from Austria at 15.234 seconds, but at 5.2 gigahertz. But he used Windows Vista and this is Windows XP. So uh, I'm definitely sure XP is much better for 775 CPUs than Windows Vista. But yeah, so pretty good run. But anyways, the CPU feels very flaky, very inconsistent whatsoever. Okay, so that's the W Prime 1024M top score with the uh, Core 2 Duo E4600. For some reason, the efficiency wasn't good, so uh, for some reason, either of the cores was uh, was really slow. But anyway, so that's 504.172. The previous top score by tag was at 505.221 at 5050 megahertz on the CPU and I ran the CPU at 5005. So yeah, so this has been a very hard session with the CPU because this CPU has very weird behavior. No matter if I use uh, a multiplier of 11 or 12, the end result is usually the same. After uh, some clock speed, the CPU becomes very flaky. It could be either of the cores, but I don't know. Okay, that's very close on the top score on PyFast, 19.19, .19, top score is 19.11, so uh, still trying. Yes. Okay, that's the new PyFast top score with the Core 2 Duo E4600 at 5136 MHz. So 19.05 seconds, the previous top score by, is it Michelle? 90 from Switzerland at 19.11. That score was made in 2015. So seven to eight years ago already at 5.2 plus. So that's like 5.230, I think. Yeah, 5.230, I'm at 5.130. So I did the top score with 100 megahertz lower frequency. So that's definitely a very good score if you ask me. Memory is at uh, 1860, 67520, common rate 1 and performance level 5 and everything. So the efficiency is definitely top notch. So damn happy. So now I have the W primes and Pi fast. The only things remaining are 1M and 32M. I tried validation very briefly but 
definitely not going to be getting it. And one am also, I cannot really match the uh, best efficiency I think. Okay, that's the new top score. Okay, so that's the new top score in Super Pi 1M, 10.875 seconds. The previous top score by Michelle Nani from Switzerland at 10.906. And he used a frequency of well above 5.2 once again like 5220 i used a frequency of 5144 so uh, definitely much lower frequency on the cpu and 1m is actually uh, mostly about just pure uh, cpu power as well as operating system efficiency memory will not give you uh, much at all in supervised 1m because it's just way too fast to test so uh, pretty good I didn't actually uh, expect to get this one at all okay so now moment of truth can we run 32m Okay, that's roughly 10 second improvement over the previous top score made by TAG and roughly same everything, almost the same frequencies. So uh, he used a CPU frequency of 5060. This one over here is at 5065. Memory, same frequency, same timings, I think same motherboard. So, uh, his run was 9 minutes and 49 seconds, spot on, and this one is 9 minutes 39.406 uh, seconds. Just one very quick run to get the top score and that's it. So I definitely can push this even higher if I wanted to. Yeah, damn awesome. So now I have everything else but the highest CPU-Z validation. So let's do it for a 111, even relatively good memories. So this will be high. That is it. That is it. 5290.82. Let's hope we got it. I think we got it. The previous top score is 5285.56 by Michel Nani uh, from Switzerland. So this is 5 megahertz higher and we booted it straight from the bars. So the same way as what I did with E8600. So, uh, yeah, 962, Rambage Extreme. Let's do one more validation. It might have crashed though, but I think it's... It should be... Yeah, 5290, it's over here. Just hoping it's uh, not corrupted whatsoever. Yeah. So I wanted to finalize this session by doing a better run in W prime 1024 amp because the previous one wasn't good as I said so uh, something happened with the second core during that test so we only got like one second improvement so this one is clearly better than the previous top score by uh, tag so 4a 8.937 versus his uh, 505.2 second run so that's like uh, is it 17 second improvement and I'm still 10 megahertz lower frequency than what he was using so 5040 on my run he used 5050 in windows uh, vista so xp is definitely better than windows vista for w prime or pretty much any platform i would say so uh, definitely good efficiency 
and this will be it pretty much for the whole session so we got everything w primes super pies pi fast and even the validation so this is definitely an awesome result overall At least we saw it. Hey. Oh well, I think it's I think that's it. Okay, so this whole session with the Core 2 Duo E4600 went actually pretty well towards the end. At the start, I really thought that this CPU is just absolute crap, as it wasn't even posting any of the known settings, not even simple settings, which I have saved inside the BAOS in those two available uh, profiles. They just didn't want to post, and not even the hard disk drive LED was trying to blink when I tried to load those settings. So I started from scratch, I only used one stick of memory and I worked my way up. So I noticed after a while that this CPU can actually run those known settings but only if I dialed every single setting from scratch every time I cleared the CMOS. So by setting every single setting manually to the known values the CPU usually worked just fine even as the settings were completely the same as in those uh, saved profiles. So it's kind of weird. This CPU has been very flaky from the start to the finish during this whole session. And it took me like six hours to do this whole session, but it was definitely worth it considering all of the scores I managed to get towards the end. So uh, I started with W Prime and I got pretty nice new rank one scores in W Prime 32 as well as in 1024M. And I used roughly the same CPU clock frequency as Tag used for his runs towards the end. So uh, I think the very best W Prime 32 score was a bit over 15 seconds, like 15.05 or 15.06. 15.172 ish I managed to save at least and that's why it's very handy to use a capture card device because if the system hangs when you save the screenshot well you pretty much have a constant screenshot device running the capture card I mean and 1024M I think the uh, margin on the better run was somewhere around 17 seconds the first attempt was only one second faster and the second attempt was 17 seconds faster than the previous rank one score made by TAG from Austria with nearly the same clock frequency. So 5050 on mine and he used 5052 megahertz on the CPU. So definitely a large difference just from operating system if you ask me. And then in uh, server 2003 SuperPi 32M I think the uh, margin on my new rank one score over the previous rank one score made by tag from austria is somewhere around 10 seconds if i remember correctly so very good uh, run i actually tried 
to post and boot 510 FSP to get higher memory, so well over 2000. But for some reason, the rig didn't want to post that high FSP. So I don't think you can actually run 500 plus FSP values on these CPUs. So uh, yeah, so the maximum memory we can use then is somewhere between 1800 and 1900 megahertz. And then I actually didn't expect to be able to challenge the rank 1 scores in PyFast as well as in SuperPy 1M and not to even mention the uh, CPU-Z core frequency validation yet I managed to break the rank 1 score in every single test of those three. So uh, getting these scores actually proves that my operating systems are very efficient or pretty like well performing. So uh, the margin I had already in the W primes compared to tags runs in Windows Vista were huge. So it kind of shows that you it kind of shows that you should always use Windows XP for W prime instead of Windows Vista. I'm absolutely sure about that. And then server 2003 I actually could uh, get the same end result and even a tiny bit better runs in PyFast and in 1M with almost 100 megahertz lower CPU frequency. So that's kind of enormous if you ask me. So uh, yeah, so 32M I can, I can definitely do even a bit better run if I wanted to, but that will be for the next time. And then for the validation, the highest validation uh, frequent, or, or the highest frequency I managed to validate was 5.29 and I actually booted it straight from the BIOS because during this whole session raising or changing uh, FSP on the fly with set FSP inside the operating system didn't usually work that well. So it was actually just easier to post and boot the desired FSP straight from the BIOS. I managed to post and boot 5.3 once, so I got to the operating system at 5303 megahertz, but the system hang when I opened up CPU-Z. I'm absolutely sure I can do it, so it just needs some time, but it was pretty interesting. So I actually realized that the core number one is very strong on the CPU. So uh, the V core scaling was actually pretty good up to like 2.15 volts or 2.2 on the first core, and the second core didn't actually scale that high. It actually stopped already a bit above 2 volts. So a uh, pretty interesting uh, result if you ask me. So uh, first CPU after a while, which I've managed to uh, break all of the important top scores with. So 5 plus 1, so all of the uh, Super Pies, W Primes, Pi Fast and even the validation. So the whole session was definitely worth it. All of these results will be uploaded to hardwarebot.org, so definitely check them out if you are interested in them. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and check out my Patreon page as well if you want to join my Patreon Discord channel. But yeah, other than that, thanks for watching one of my 775 legacy overclocking content once again, and I will see you on the next one.